That's right. Matter of fact, I, had, I did not call Billy Strong. Thank you. I got my. Oh, you got Billy Strong. You got you got a well, Billy Swan too. But you got my, Billy's number. What you call him? Did you? What do you say? You couldn't make it. His brothers in town. All right. Well, that's better than uh, he said. His brothers in town building. He's building a fence. <laughs> Billy Strong, 89 years old, is building a fence. Is he? I saw he just turned right in. No, no, he didn't. Billy Strong. We're talking about a guy that's a, a he's a, he is a, a, a Memphis legend. He's one of the few people that really actually uh, met Elvis and worked for Elvis. Now Pam is in there too, so Pam is right there. But uh, yeah, there's not a lot of people around that actually worked for Elvis and was friends with Elvis. Let me tell you what happened about how I met Billy Strong. Too. As a matter of fact, uh, Billy's own voice is telling the story at the end of this song on the CD. Back there on Elvis Presley Boulevard. Well, it wasn't called that back then. It was just 51, wasn't it? Was it, was it called something else? It was just 51, right? So they didn't have a name though, right? It's 51. So yeah, he, had a, he worked at a gas station up there and uh, Elvis used to take his cars there or he had people take his cars there to get clean because I guess he didn't have car washes like he got nowadays right so uh, he had them wash his cars make them look nice pull them up and all that stuff and Billy Strong was working there and he found some money in the back seat and this story is what changed his entire life well, it was back in 1960, he found a $100 note in the backseat of a floorboard of a car that he was working on. Now, it belonged to Elvis Presley. And Billy, he's an honest man. He had to get it back to Elvis with his own calloused hand. Elvis said, who found my money? Billy said, I did with his draw. Elvis said, honest man, honest man, Billy Strong. Honest man. Man, Billy Strong, Billy Strong, trusted by the king for every car he owned. He was Elvis's mechanic from that moment on. Honest man, honest man, Billy Strong. trusted man that the king depended on. Now what would Elvis do when he needed his car working on? He called on his man, on his man, Billy Strong. On his man, on his man, Billy Strong, Billy Strong. Trusted by the king for every car he owned. He was Elvis's mechanic from that moment on. But on his man, on his man, Billy Strong. saying, I, I, I'll, come, I'll be down there. He said his brother was in town, right? Yeah. I'll be down, yeah, my brother's in town. I'll be down there when he straightens up. He's a hunchback in Notre Dame. What's that? He's putting on the red shirt. What are you doing over there, pal? <laughs> I've heard that. He's a, he's a colorful character. Good. That's what you're supposed to be. It's entertaining. Zach Sopanera. Sopanor. 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 That was it. I got it. I've been trying to get it right for months now. Sopanor. Uh, here's another song that, uh... Well, I keep saying we're going to record these things. 
And I've got a morning study over about a mile down the road. I don't know why I don't do it. Why don't I haul off and do it? Huh? Oh, yeah, let's get some drinks. Let's do it tonight. Let's get our car right. Get a sound out of my car tonight. <laughs> Maybe we record this one. What's the best one we can record? Life is like a song. Okay. All right. I didn't say your name. All right. Say your name. There she is. I do. I didn't see. Life is like a song. We just sing along. for the Christian Music Awards. And so I wonder why yeah, I wonder why everybody, all the other artists, you know, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, John, John Conley, uh, Vince Gill, uh, Rhonda Vincent, all of them, they did a gospel song in their set. And they kind of just, even Steve Earle did a gospel song. I said, I said, so, but it did not dawn on me and you could have helped me out there. It didn't even dawn on me, so I go out there and I do this song. Hey, here's a little song I'm going to record for the next single. Y'all can sing along with me. I even had them do a sing-along, this Christian music audience 
sang along with Willie, Waylon, and Whiskey. It was a hell of a time. That's what I said. It's not just, it's not, not, they found, they found an extra vitamin in it. It was a liquid Viagra. And that made them a lot of money because they sold that to somebody. Things kept looking up. So, so yeah, so now, but now, but uh, it's kind of a, it was a double-edged sword because now they have to list that as a warning on their label. It's right under that, uh, uh, uh the Surgeon General, uh, 1-800. Oh, here it is. Ladies, one sip of Lone Star beer, and you will feel love. Can't get love with Lone Star beer. He said, I got you, 
all night long, making love. Bring it on strong. Go back and forth from the bedroom to the refrigerator. Bedroom to the refrigerator. Bedroom to the refrigerator. Bedroom to the refrigerator. You know, one night I ran out of the old store beer. I had to go to the store and get some more. Got me another 20 more. 20 more more time. Back and forth from the bedroom to the refrigerator. Bedroom to the refrigerator. Bedroom to the refrigerator. Bedroom to the refrigerator. All night long. She kept calling me, she said. Sid King and Five Strings. Look him up, I think you'll like his music. Again, he was only 17 years old when he toured, uh, they, they toured opening up for Elvis. What a gig that had And, uh, but he did, uh, uh Why It's Holy Holy, a little different.
Yeah. And hold it exactly where you need it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's weird to do with my brother? Look, not Larry. You don't know who looks like Larry? My brother Larry, he drives a bus. And uh, uh, he's got a dog that only drinks out of the other side of the water bottle, water, water bowl. It's the weirdest stuff I've ever seen, man. And it's a little chihuahua in the first place. Uh, Miracle Dog, he's kind of our, our mascot. His name is Hercules. But Hercules, I know, a little bitty, little, Hercules, Hercules. Little, little, little bitty thing about like that, man. But the size of that beer can. But, but he drinks out of the opposite side of the bowl. You know, you know what I mean? That work. I mean, if I, if I, if I, if I it's like if I drink out of that side of the... Be sleeping, might be. He was bragging on the uh, TCB drinks earlier. <laughs> Apparently, you know, we got a TCB drink here, and it's, it's kind of like a peanut butter, uh, jelly, banana, <laughs> kick your ass type of drink. <laughs> Apparently, he, he had a couple of them, he liked them. So, uh, yeah, but this is my brother, about my brother Larry. Son.
Well, I, again, I, I can give one of those songs, a uh, uh, brand new song you just wrote, or an uh, old song. Or what, what do y'all want to hear? Thank y'all for coming here. Too long, Mississippi. That happens to me too, man. But, I, but I, you know, sometimes I, I'll say something and... Uh, Okay. Uh, sometimes I'll say something and my voice will crack, but uh, I got a buddy of mine, I swear to God, I, I think he's going through puberty and he's almost 50. Because he does, it happens to him all the time. <laughs> Sounds like it's a cross between Garth Brooks and Mr. Haney from uh, Green Acres. Hello, Mr. Douglas. But I get that. Good old Mississippi. I get, it happens to me too. Why not? There's a true story about an old 57 parallel. Thank you. 